helps me because if it's semi, if it's got a little bit of entertainment factor where it just kind of makes you like, just like, <laughs> it's like way better, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, Welcome back to the latest edition of Tyler and Patrick Know Best. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the Hayward OmniPL automation system. Comes with four high voltage relays, a Wi-Fi antenna built into the display. We're gonna get into the nuts and the bolts of this thing. We're gonna show you the high voltage panel, uh, the circuit board, where everything ties in at, and then we've got a little dummy equipment set up uh, tied to the Omni, so we're gonna just show you how everything works. So with that, let's take a look at what comes in the box. All right, here we've got our basic equipment that we're, that's representing a pool spa combination. So we've got our pump, actuators, and salt cell. Now let's take a look uh, a little more in depth of how all this stuff ties into the Omni. All right, the back of the uh, variable speed pump. This is how it comes from the factory. So we've got our wire, our, our four pin connector with the wire tied to the, to the display of the uh, variable speed pump. If we're connecting this to the Omni, we're gonna unplug this. We're gonna just kind of tuck it underneath there. And then we've got our communication cable that comes with the variable speed pump. And we're gonna tie it into that same four pin connection there. And you can see, uh, you can see we've got one, two, three, and four. So we're gonna tie uh, two and three to the black and yellow wires. And then the bare wire, we're gonna tie to four. And now if we come back up to the Omni itself, we're gonna show you where it ties into the Omni. Now on the back of the pump, we had two was black, three was yellow, and the bare wire was four. So that's how we're going to tie it into this connector right here. So I'm going to just pull that off, and you can see right there, we've got two, three, and four. And that's how they're tied into the Omni. One is going to be no wire, two, three, and four is going to have black, yellow, and bare. All right, if you don't have a variable speed pump and you have a single speed pump, then I just wanted to show you how this is gonna tie into the high voltage relay. Um, so variable speed pump is going to tie directly into the circuit breaker. We are not going to use the high voltage relay, but if you do have a, uh, a single speed pump, then you're gonna tie the two legs of the circuit breaker to one and three, or they're actually called out as two and six. And then at four and eight, you're gonna, these are gonna be your hot legs for your load back to your pump. So this is how it would look. And there is a basic wiring diagram. If you need any reference, you can see we've got the dotted lines or line coming from the circuit breaker. We've got the solid lines or the load going back out to the pump. So this is just for your reference. And just one other last thing to keep in mind, you do need to know which relay that the pump or any high voltage equipment is tied to. So if you're on one, you do need to tell the system you're on one. So it's a good practice to write these down. So if you tie your single speed pump into high voltage relay one, write that down and it's called out as one, two, three, and four. And if we take a look back at the actual relays itself, just to show you, it's called out as high voltage relay one, two, three, and four. All right, so just wanted to take a look at our suction side and our return side actuators. Um, so this actuator is gonna, is gonna allow the Omni to control pool mode versus spa mode. On the bottom side of this, we've got a reversing switch. It's on one, on two, and off. So if we change that switch, it will go from, from spa mode to pool mode. So you can see that rotating, it's gonna cut water off from the spa, suck from the pool. Same thing on the other side. If we flip that switch, it's gonna go from sucking from the spa to, or I'm sorry, returning to the spa to returning to the pool. Um, now we just wanted, I wanted to show you guys, take, trace the wires back and we'll show you where they plug in at the circuit board. All right, so this is where, um, this is an area that the valve actuators tie into the circuit board. We've got four slots, VLV one, two, three, and four. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys, these are pre-labeled, you know, from the factory, VLV one return, VLV two suction. So that's just for kind of a quick reference. Um, you can, we could plug these into any ports and then program them as such via the Omni, but uh, this is how we normally do it. You know, just plug the return side into VLV one, the spa side into VLV two. All right, so here we're gonna talk about the salt cell and the flow switch. And we're really just gonna show you where they plug in at, at the Omni. 
Um, it's just worth pointing out that the flow switch, it needs to, you need to have 12 inches of uh, straight run of pipe upstream from the flow switch. Even the Hayward manual says you can, especially if you're working with a tight plumbing setup, you can use your, your salt cell as the 12 inches upstream of the flow switch. Uh, you don't have to, but just keep in mind, you do need, you're supposed to have 12 inches of straight run of pipe before the flow switch. Now let's take a look at where these plug in at, at the circuit board. All right, so your port right here is where the salt cell is gonna plug in at. Plug that guy in. And then these two black uh, ports that look like phone jack openings, these are where your salt cell, I'm sorry, your flow switch can plug into. The bottom one is labeled on the board, flow switch one, flow switch two. Uh, so just keep in mind, when you plug this in, just note it, notate whatever, whether you plugged it into flow switch one or two, because you do have to tell the Omni which port it's plugged into. All right, next thing we're going to touch on are the temperature sensors. So the Omni PL comes with three sensors in a bag. It's got a air sensor, water sensor, and a solar heater sensor um, that most of the country is not going to use along with two clamps. So I just wanted to show your, your air sensor we've got tied in here. You're going to cut it to length, tie it into the circuit board, and it's just going to dangle, dangle just below uh, the box here. You do not want it in direct sunlight because it will show that the air is hotter than it actually is. Uh, for the water sensor, just kind of wanted to show you guys, you're going to just kind of like on the high side of the pump or anywhere, if, if you have a gas heater before the gas heater, um, you want, you'll just use a 3 8 drill bit, drill a hole. There's a little gasket on the bottom side here. You, you plug this in and then you've got a, um, a clamp where you just tighten the clamp over top, holds it into place. And then you're going to fish the wire back up through the low voltage uh, raceway and then tie it into your Sense One water tank. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you do not have a gas heater, then this is going to tell you the temperature of your water, you know, and it's really not too big of a deal, but it's nice to know. Um, if you do have a gas heater or a heat pump, then the Omni will use temperature control um, via this uh, water sensor to control the you know whether your heater comes on or off all right we just wanted to give you an in-depth look at the circuit board to show you where everything ties in at we already kind of touched on the uh, smart relay uh, four pin connector here this is where our variable speed pump is tied into just wanted to mention if you've got multiple variable speed pumps or multiple smart devices there you can just kind of twist them all together and they're all going to tie to the same four pin connector and they will all be recognized by the omni uh, just below that, we've got our 10-pin connector. This is where your air, your water sensor, your air sensor is going to go, and any other external sensors that you might have. Uh, you can note, you know, we've got a, a red and a black wire. doesn't matter which color wire goes to which. It's just creating a loop, and, and it doesn't matter which color goes to which port. Um, just below that, we've got our 4-pin connector for our uh, communication cables for our heaters. So that's going to be a two-wire connection. Once again, uh, there's multiple. There's going to be multiple colors on your wires. It does not matter which which color goes into which port. Uh, just below that, we already talked about our valves. You got four slots for valves, uh, valve actuators. Uh, just to the right here, we've got our uh, flow switch connections again. Um, at the very top, this is where our touchscreen controller goes. Um, if you come back to the bottom. Um, if you add any relays, you can add a fifth and sixth relay. Those are going to tie individually into HV9, is how the Omni calls it out, and HV10. And then the last thing that is worth maybe pointing out on this thing is just where the high voltage connection goes for the Omni itself. You've got a black wire and a white wire. Um, your white wire is going to tie just right to the neutral bar, and then your black wire is going to tie to your circuit breaker to give power to the Omni. All right, we just wanted to touch one more time on the high voltage relays and just reiterate that the high voltage relays are made for uh, things like single speed pumps, spa blowers, lights. So in that case, you know, you're gonna tie your high voltage, you're gonna tie to number two and number six, and then your load side going back to your equipment, whether it's a single speed pump or a blower, is gonna go back to the equipment at four and eight. If you have an item like a variable speed pump, a gas heater, or a heat pump, you're going to tie the high voltage directly to the circuit breaker. You're not going to tie them to the high voltage relays, and those will turn on and off via the communication cables. All right, thanks for watching today's video. Last thing I wanted to point out, the Omni PL, this, this version of the Omni PL is new as of the very beginning of 2023, maybe the very end of 2022. 
So if you see one of these in the field or maybe your distributor's running out stock, the older version had a slightly different circuit board setup. So if you run into that, it's very similar, but it is a little bit different. So again, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, that's it for this one. We hope you gain some knowledge. Uh, the next video that we're gonna have is going to be programming an Omni from scratch. We're gonna do multiple setups. We're gonna show you a whiteboard with an equipment diagram setup. So keep an eye out for that one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.